one line I always liked was, uh, I'm going to do today what other people aren't willing to, so I can do tomorrow what other people can't. I always loved that line of like, like whenever I'm training by myself, you know, kind of always like running, running lines like that through my head when I'm suffering. Like, people aren't willing to do this right now. You're the only one. get to a competition and, and I'm able to outperform someone on something, like, okay, I did yesterday what, what you didn't, so that I can do today what you can't. Just knowing that, trusting that the hard work I'm putting in right now, it'll pay off. Maybe not today, you might feel like shit tomorrow, but it'll pay off. When I cross the finish line first, get to look back, watch all my competitors still working out. Just like the feeling of that crowd. Like you don't get that feeling from the crowd unless you feel that pain in training. Having a good day or bad day of training is almost like a vicious circle. Say I have a bad day of training Monday morning. I'm gonna go back in Monday night and try to make up for that bad morning. As long as you still have that good mix of pushing yourself while you're listening to your body. It's a dangerous combination. As soon as you're done that, your training day, all you're thinking about is the next training day. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do tomorrow that's gonna make me better? stadium and like there's 3,000 people just roaring it makes every second of that pain worthwhile like there is no no comparison to that when I started competing that was a promise I made to myself that the day I don't love it anymore the day I'm not having fun anymore is the day I'm just gonna walk away but right now I'm having the time of my life